Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Heat, back at it again with another fire video. And I appreciate y'all for clicking in on this video today. If you would, hit that like and subscribe button for me, please. If you would like to join the Heat Wave, that is how you do so. So I got a special important video for y'all, and I want you guys to take into account that there is a reason why I am not doing this method I show you guys. Um, the reason I'm not doing this method that I'm showing you guys is because, first of all, I'm not going through, I don't know how many hours of screen time and loading screens and the fact that it takes 20 seconds to go from adjust lineup to, from going from this screen to adjust lineup screen. No, there's, there's a reason why I'm not doing this method because I don't have the patience to sit in multiple, 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 multiple screens and wait 30 seconds after I purchase each card. And uh, I'm cool with not getting the profit off of these sets like I would if I were to do it. Like I said, I just don't have the patience. I got other things to do than wait. A million years for me to buy a card back it out hit the card to pop up me dismiss it me try to press a to put the card in card takes five years to go in finally pops up me press it again dude that's like a whole like three minutes for each card bro but there's a reason why I'm telling you guys this because most people aren't jumping on it because of the same reason the servers are just too slow I mean, I, I already pressed sets about 5 seconds, 10 seconds ago. Yeah, so we're finally, I was about, that was about 10 seconds, and we're still loading in. It's, it's actually insane how bad the servers are. Um, definitely needs to improve before the real game comes out. But, I am going to be showing you guys basically how to go ahead and do all the team diamond sets. I wouldn't say for cheap, because it's going to cost you a pretty penny, but there, you should make profit off of it. Um, each and every time so and there is there is something that you, there's different you're gonna make a minimum profit if, if you just do the sets and sell everybody plus the power-ups and there's a maximum profit you sell everybody plus Barry Sanders and the power-ups those different we're gonna talk about the minimum minimum profit first, and or whatnot. So the first thing you want to do is you kind of want to get rid of the most expensive one, and the most expensive one, from what I've been hearing, is Troy Vincent. Now, is that the case? I do believe so. That Troy Vincent is the most expensive one. I believe going at around a price of three hundred. Let me double check that price real quick. And uh, of course, really the 89s are going to be the most expensive ones. But cards like Troy Vincent, Travis Frederick, um, Asante Samuel. Now, I don't know about Jermichael Finley, but you got to think about it too. Some of these cards, depending on who is in the set of these, you know, Teen Diamonds are going to go for a little bit more. If you look at the Chiefs and there's like a, I don't know if this is the case, but Tyree Kill's in there, it's going to be a pretty penny set, even if it isn't the best player, um, which is, uh, sucks to say, because it's not, I guess, very even. I mean, dude, I've been loaded, I, it's been a whole minute since I've, you know, gone from sets to here, and I'm still not even where I want to be at. Uh, anyways, we're going to go Troy Vincent. Um, you guys are going to see a little bit of that profit that I'm talking about. I um, mean... Is the profit huge on the minimum the minimum profit? It's not huge. That's why I said it's you know the minimum profit, but it is definitely a uh, a profit. So let's even say 69k. You sell yours for 68k, and then you go ahead and sell your Troy Vincent for 250 k. You're looking around you know a 300 and about 10k 115k of 
you know, how much you can sell back his cards. So let's think about it. 315k, you can honestly probably get away with putting up a, him up a little bit higher, plus a power up a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and look back at it. Let's look at some of these Eagle players in the sets. Um, holy cow, dude. I can't tell you how frustrating this is. Yeah, I, I just don't have the patience, man. I wish I did because I'd, I'd be banking right now, but I, I just don't have the patience. I do. Alright. Maybe. It's like I don't have that. I just don't. So if we're looking, you got Brennan Brooks, who's 70. Like, dude. <laughs> and of course, you know, most people have some gold cards of other, you know, people. Make sure you keep your gold cards too. So you can get him for 45. So we're looking at 110. Um, K right there. Got, yeah, 35. Got 145k. We're saying he's going for the 310, right? So we're at 145. Bro. This set is so much profit, dog. Yes, you will have to look out for some r rarer golds. Um, some of these may be 10k, you know, 20k, but at the same time, you got to also think about it too. Most people have golds like this chilling in their binder, dude. People are going to throw up snipes. People are, you know, you may have some of these cards in here. I'll tell you right now. I, I didn't even know it, but I, like, I had like a whole set of gold cards, like, for a team, I forget what team it was, but I was I was surprised. I just hold it all because I'm not gonna do this crap. And yes, like I said, besides the fact that the screen is so slow and I mean it's taking 25 minutes to go from each car to the other, this is mad profit, 100%. Now. You may be asking, hey, which one should I start out with? Should I just go from top to bottom? No. You want to go out with the most expensive, which I believe is Troy Vincent, because you want to go ahead and gain the max profit you can to hold down everybody else. If I were you, I'm starting at all the 89s, starting at Troy Vincent, and now I'm going to end off on the 86. You know what I mean? The 86 are going to be less profit. So you're going to lose less taxes and the 86 are not going to cost as much. So you can do multiple 86s with the profit from your 89s, 88s, 87s. You know what I'm talking about? You can do multiple 86s at once without, you know, waiting for another card to sell. And then, you know, you get it done quicker. But, and then if I were you, you know, you might as well go ahead and do the berry and it's up to you if you want to keep them or you want to sell them if it's me personally i'm selling them i'm selling them dog i mean I'm, i am but a i mean if you really think about it i basically just showed you you can make profit with ease off of one set and that's basically how every other set is too some have a greater margin of profit some have a smaller margin of profit but nine times out of ten there is profit to be involved with all those cards especially if you are somebody who opens quite a bit of packs you should definitely have some of those gold cards already in your binder which is going to save you a ton and then if you want to go ahead and go above and beyond like i think you should 
you can go ahead and go ahead and install that Barry Sanders. I don't think you should be keeping that card. But hey, some people do. Me personally, he's gone. Dude, 1.7 mil, he's gone. Adios. Adioso. Adioso. I'm talking about. Anyways, that's my video. I hope y'all enjoyed. It's your boy Mr. Heat. I'm out.